And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Trundle Brom to kick off our Rank Up Sunday stream. Um, we're going to be uh, playing three decks that have all been best decks of the day before. This deck was a deck that we have played twice and both times it was a best deck of the day. Um, it's, it did really well both times that we played it. Um, but we're going to try it out with this new format. I actually played this before Sharima, so I haven't actually played this with Sharima being released. Um, but it should be a good deck in this format because I think it's going to be good against aggro. And there's lots of aggro running around right now. Less Targon, less Hush. That's something I definitely like to see. So what we have here is we have a deck built around our two champions, Braum and Trundle. And so they're, they're both champions with regeneration. They're both great blockers. Right. Obviously, Braum's a great blocker, you know, getting the Mighty Poro whenever it survives damage. Um, Trundle also has that regeneration. Um, Scar Maiden Reaver, also a 4-5 with re regeneration. So these are three cards that can really control combat because um, they're great at blocking, they're good at attacking. Right, it's, it's hard for aggro decks to get past them. Really, we're combining those cards with this new-ish new card, Troll Gifts. Two mana burst to grant an ally regeneration. If that already has it, get a, grant them plus two, plus two instead. And so this is just a wonderful combat spell with on, on all of those that just grants them plus two, plus two. So you can put it on the Braum, make Braum a permanent 2-7. And that makes, you know, a 2-7 makes attacking and blocking through it really difficult. And same, you know, giving these things plus two, plus two, pretty awesome also. Since we're Demacia uh, and Freljord, we're using Demacia as our other region because there's also a lot of other really good combat spells. And so, like, that's really what's all about. We got Troll Chant. We got Sharp Sight. We got Troll Gifts, which is incredible in this deck. And then even Single Combat. We have these 12 two-mana spells that are all amazing. And so our deck can just do um, some really good stuff in combat. So it's about finding Braum, Trundle, Scar Maiden Reaver, getting these in play, and controlling combat with all of our two-mana cards. We also got Avalanche, which is going to be good against aggro. Same with Kindly Tavern Keeper. So, like, we should be good against aggro. We got two early blockers with Omen Hawk and Egghead Researcher. And Omen Hawk can, you know, buff these things up. And then uh, we got some finishers. We can either have a Field of Rush to get a couple of 10-10 regenerations in play. Or Battle Fury, which is also awesome on these regeneration cards. Like, Battle Fury on Braum can do a ton of work, for example. So, yeah, so this deck is great in combat. It's not really... It's not necessarily that great against, like, the... Um, ruination decks also like those kind of control decks can can really be a problem that's that's why we want to face the least or like the shadow owls control decks that just play like vengeance and ruination and don't care about the size of our units um that's that's our bad matchup but there's lots of aggro in the in the format right now um and so hopefully we face more of that aggro because that's that's where we can really shine all right so let's uh give it a try trundle brom we're gonna go play our five games in ranked we want to see a bunch of lucian azir you know, like those kind of decks. That's what we want to face. Okay. So it's not it's not necessarily an aggro deck. Going with Gangplank Swain. Like they're gonna be this is gonna be more of a control deck. But it's it's Noxus and Bilgewater for the regions, so it's that is difficult for them to kill our units, because our units are gonna be pretty big. I'm gonna keep all this. I like I like this. All right, so hope an Omen Hawk hits units right here on top, like that two drop. Ooh, Trundle. That was kind of the worst unit to draw, because I already have the other Trundle. It's like obviously, like the five six, you know, cool. That's an upgrade, but now it's kind of a, a waste. <laughs> okay, there we go. See, there we go. That's what I wanted. Brom. Ah, if only that Egghead Researcher was where the Trundle was, and I could have got that, and, you know, could have played that, like, last turn, and Braum this turn. So they are passing turn. Worst case scenario for me is that they have Scorched Earth and Noxion Guillotine. I guess they do play those two cards, probably. I'm certainly considering just passing back as well. They waste the four mana. Trolls are going to war! Break their legs. 
So that's a weird attack. I'll show him pain. You got a problem? Okay. So I guess we'll find out. I have the backup trundle anyway. <clears throat> but we'll find out if they have, you know, guillotine or scorched earth. Probably should use. I should. Have, I should have played a troll gifts and killed this thing. Keep up, keep up. With a little time, I'll have a breakthrough. Yep. I could have. I could have healed that with the tavern keeper. I have. I was kind of scared of guillotine though, like how guillotine can get like the multiples, and so like I, I liked how, like if, if these were both damaged, I definitely would have used a tavern keeper to try to keep that off my back. What lovely plumage. But so now, now that's I guess the good part about not using troll gifts. Okay, so we would like to draw what, Feel the Rush. It's always cold in the frail yard. You're in my kingdom now. The ocean herself will fear us. Smashing! So they're down to six. And they just can't find more hard removal spells. Come back later. Of course, this thing is attacking for four right now. I guess I should have done this avalanche first, shouldn't I? I was just gonna play this open attack, but should I have a avalanche? No, maybe not. Welcome to the tipsy hour. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think it would have made more sense to make Dreadwade 10 mana. 
than what they did. But yeah, I guess I probably should have just Avalanche first, and like that's that's what I should have done. But once I played the first Tavern Keeper, I I didn't. But I should have played Avalanche first, then Tavern Keeper, Tavern Keeper, because then would have killed those three and these three, and so I would have had three, 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 and Trundle to their four, four. So this puts them down to one. That will kill them. <clears throat> and there we go. GG's. That Braum was too big. Ooh, Vladimir Braum. Alright, so we got similar type decks. They have Scar Grounds. I have Troll Gifts. Alright, so Troll Gifts and Sharp Sight are both amazing, but... We kind of need our champions, right? Like, we really need our champions. I do want to keep Concerted Strike, because that can be, like, a good removal spell on Vladimir, right? Like, Vladimir and the 3-8 are both very difficult to defeat. And so I think that we do kind of need, like, a, a Concerted Strike to take down, like, the Vladimir or that 3-8. Hey, Divemin with the donation deck. Thank you, Divemin. All right, unfortunately, Avalanche is one of the worst cards that we could draw. I guess if they don't have Scar Grounds, Avalanche could be okay, but we know they always have Scar Grounds, right? Welcome to the Tipsy Owl. I have the name. I need the reputation. So, yes, they have tons of combat spells they can play, and they got the man, and I don't. I think it's still worth the attack, though, and, and you know, force them to use... You know, how they use a combat spell. Alright, cool. No troll chant used. Where's my journal? The bloodier the better. So this is where they wanted to use the combat spell with the scar grounds in play. So they could give that tough. Could definitely see this being like Death Lotus or Ice Shard. Hmm. That will trade those all off. So they end up with six cards, I end up with five. They're down to nine. We could really use a champion. We still have one Omen Hawk plus one plus one. Okay. Braum or a Trundle. Yuck. Kind of need something else to go. You know, another large thing for this Concerted Strike. I'm still a ways away from the Field of Rush. I guess I can play the Battle Fury on this 1-1, one, one, <laughs> and that would give us two different good attackers and stuff. Sure, waste my time. Wow. <sighs> That's not good. Well. I'll follow where I can. Real tough, aren't you? Hope they can't do anything about this. Oh, they had guillotine? Yo, they had guillotine? <laughs> it feels like any time I play against... Any time I play against Vladimir Braum, it's like they have like the entire collection of Freljord and Noxus cards, and they just get to choose whatever is like the best possible card. Like, they just all... <laughs> they just get it in hand. It's, it's, cr like, the games I play against this deck are crazy. 
And they have nothing but the best possibles every single game. All the time. And then they have the best best five, five drop you can have after <laughs> after that. Yeah. Alright, so unfortunately our turn one Omen Hawk didn't actually hit two units. We only had the one. We only drew one unit the whole game, but. Thresh, Nessus. So 0 for 3 playing against aggro decks. That's what. You know, that's like why we're playing the deck is to play against aggro. 0 for 3 so far. Okay, I don't want to keep the two 5 mana cards. Does Thresh. Thresh Nasus, do they usually play Vengeance? I would think so, right? Yeah, they do. So yeah, we're we're all three decks so far are decks that play those hard removal spells. Scorched Earths and Guillotines and Vengeance. You must know me, little one. You must. Facing zero aggro was a bummer. You think they have three ruinations in their deck? I would be surprised about that, but I guess it's you know it's possible because that is slaying a lot of units for Nessus. Alright, so we haven't really... Like, the first game we drew units and kind of curved out. These other two games, not so much. <laughs> Come on, really? One turn? We could have just had this Braum one turn earlier. Would have made life a lot better. That would have made life a lot better if that could have just been one card earlier, because then I would have been able to play Trundle right here also. They grow up so fast. Now to five. Kind of, I I hope they use Black Spear here on the Brom, and then I get to troll gifts. Like, because uh, I want to troll gifts there. But that's okay. Now I have four mana. I would add three mana if I would have. It. Now I have four, so I still have the ability to play two different um, two mana spells. Do I attack with you, Mighty Poro? No.
Well, I don't have very much life. Observe the price of ambition. Keeping up concerted strike for atrocity. The soul wears away like rains of sand. I guess maybe this should just be the O six. Hmm. It's like if I do that. Maybe it should just be the O6. Uh, left for a stack. Get ready for a beatdown. You see me, yes? Long way from home. All right, that puts them down to eight. I know I could I could go for like the Battle Fury and go for Lethal. Um but I am I'm scared of atrocity. Like if I do that we'd just lose to atrocity. And so that's why I don't think it's like necessary. If I play Battle Fury, I don't get to feel the rush the next turn, but I guess I could still Cadra Grin. Kadrigrin is not the best dragon to hit. There's nowhere to hide. Everyone's a god. I think I just play this and then I have... Well, no, because if, if I play this and then... No, I guess I can't. Because if I play the 9-9 nine -nine and then they just have like a Vile Feast, then I, I'm dead to Vile Feast. So now I'm dead to Atrocity. So it's basically, you know, like, which one do I want to lose to, Atrocity or Vile Feast? Oh, I guess I lose to Ride Negation. I always lose to Ride Negation with this deck. Yeah, so I should have played the 9-9. Nine -nine. Or the 9-mana card. All right, Zoe Leeson. This is also not an aggro deck. I thought, isn't that supposed to be an aggro meta? Am I am I wrong here? There's something I'm missing. No Zoe. That's good. They'll be able to get a free gem. I can't really stop that. They do use the gem on the 3 1. I'm not that mad. And that's not a gem saved for Lee Sin. The spirit 
gives to those who listen. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. Okay, we got our Braum with our uh, mana for our spells. No, you can't, Nasher. Okay, so the Braum has seen four damage dealt now. It is easy, see? First we fight. This is fun, yes? I'm not too worried about Draglings in this matchup. It's certainly all about Lee Sin. They have the infinite spells to always protect Lee Sin. If they do, you know, basically if they have Lee Sin, it's going to be very difficult for us to win. But if they don't have Lee Sin, I think that we will certainly win this. So it's really about that card. That's a great sign for me. Great sign of no Lee Sin. Okay. Why would this 2 1 attack? You are safe with Braum. Like, this levels up my Braum. I don't know why they're allowing me just to level up my Braum. Like, what are they trying to do here? Gonna allow me to have a leveled up ROM. So I can go farther in on the Braum. Of course, they are a hush deck. No, let's do it. I don't think they're gonna be playing bounce spells, but like they could, you know, like homecoming or something. I don't think they'll have that. So I want I don't want to use these single combats or concerted strikes because of Lee Sin. Like Lee Sin is how I lose this game. I don't I don't lose this game because of Sparklefly. I don't need to single combat Sparklefly. That card's not gonna kill me. Lee Sin's how I lose the game. Do have a good amount of spells. They played a couple deep meditations. They got a full hand over there. Lots of cards. So I'd be kind of expecting, <clears throat> expecting some kind of like denies and stuff like that. I'm still just scared of Lee Sin. Trolls are going to war! 
Where are the aggro players? I should just be challenged. I should probably just be challenged in the sparkle flying. Yeah, it's true. I guess I could have just attacked with these also because I get just get more poros. That is true. Just a really great draw for us. And then I can, you know, fairly, you know, just block this three four and not have to use any of my fight spells. So it seemed like they have not drawn Lee Sin. That has seemed pretty safe to say. Sure. So just get rid of two blockers. That's fine with me. Good trade. Just negative two. You can't pull Zoe with the Ice Pillar. The only thing that Ice Pillar can pull is the Sparkle Fly. And... And so I don't I don't really want to do that. We're gonna be buffing up this thing behind the spell shield because I think like basically if they do have like a whole bunch of hushes or concussive palms like stuff like that like that I'm not attacking them for lethal, I still want to you know kill like their elusives. Just, you know, in case we don't kill them. No, a control deck. So we have faced all, like, mid-range and control decks. Not a single aggro deck. Wow. Not not a one. This one's probably going to be really difficult, honestly. I think the, I think that just from, like, how, like, the, uh, the champions match up and everything, this probably is not going to be a favorable matchup. I wouldn't guess. We'll just, I'll just mulligan all the spells. Our deck is filled with good spells. We can probably find other ones. See, there we go. Okay. Find a trundle. Alright, we got bigger Braum. We 
we sure have our top end. It's gonna be sad if these field rushes just get denied. I do feel like this is a deck that is more likely to play cards like um, Will of Ionia. Something like that that would bounce this Braum and put it back in my hand and I'd be all sad. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. It is easy, see? River shape the land and give it life. The trolls are going to war! Let the light guide you! First we fight! We should be friends! Show me your best! Currents pull them down. Yeah, they just want to draw a spell with that river shaper. What form will the waters take? Waters are still. They have nine cards in hand right now. Probably be barrier type cards here. I would expect. Get ready for a beat down. I mean, I can try that. My Brom's gonna die. Or sorry, sorry, the Trundle. So my Trundle's gonna die. No matter what I do because of that repost. I'm gonna sharp sight. If I if I troll gifts and sharp sight, that still it still dies to the final spark, right? Like that's that's the thing. The final spark's gonna kill my like the final spark still kills it. I went over here so that the final spark didn't kill so I st got, still got two damage in and that final spark won't kill this mighty poro now. Alright, so they, ju they just denied something. Here's deny test number two. Alright, not a second deny. Alright, so definitely really scary with having, you, are safe with you know, leveled up karma with Lux. A gift from the river folk. That is quite scary. But we'll see, we'll have like Troll Gifts and Battle Fury together. It is easy, see? Heart 
and mind as one. They're going life steal barrier. Then probably concerted strike. Single combat. Okay. So this is them going down to five. Maybe I just do this. Got out of one. Ah. So close. doesn't help them. So they basically need health potion right now. Doesn't look like they got it. Looks like they passed me. So that should be game. Looks like it. Okay. We'll take it. All right, so that was Trundle Braum. Um, we still went three and two, and we just faced a lot of control decks, a lot of slower decks, um, and you know we still had the good three and two record, and you know like that's that's definitely a really good record. Um, and we didn't even get to you know we didn't get to face the aggro decks where I think this deck will really really shine, and so that's you know that that's definitely a good record faced um, a lot of decks with hard removal and a lot of Ionia and some Targon and stuff like that. But I think from just watching those games, you got to really see the power of having Braum and Trundle just buffed up and have like really big regeneration champions. They're really difficult to deal with. And, you know, the Braum with the Overwhelm, really difficult to deal with. Sorry, the Trundle with the Overwhelm, the Braum uh, just, you know, eating up different smaller units and stuff like that. Troll Gifts is really cool with those cards. Um, so, yeah, this is this is a good, solid deck. Um, it does have its its limitations, um, but Feel the Rush helps out in those control matchups as well. Um, yeah, and so I think like maybe if I would have just played the nine mana card, you know, maybe we would have won that one against the Thresh Nasus deck, right? Like that was a super close game. I tried playing around like Vile Feast, but maybe they don't even really play Vile Feast. So maybe I should like if I would have just played my nine, nine mana thing to block, maybe they didn't have Atrocity, right? Like they would have needed. Uh, something like that. So I, you know, got got by right negation. So one little decision there that could have possibly been a four and one. Thank you, Mervin. Thank you for gifting out a sub to a uh, Easter snipe. Aster snipe. Yeah. Okay, so that's Trundle Brom. Definitely a good deck. That's why we played it here on Rank Up Sunday. And Astro the Bat with the sub. Welcome there, Astro the Bat. All right, but anyway, uh, th those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Trundle Brom, and I will see you for the next video.